we asked you to send us your shelfies and you did not disappoint. Oh no. Oh no, they didn't. You sent us tons of shelfies and we're gonna take a look at at least some of them. Because yeah, the response was amazing. So we have a special tier made for you. Five places we can put your collections. But I mean, all of these tiers are really good. You can't lose with your placement. For example, like you can see in my background, there's one game on the wall right there. It's quality over quantity. Let's move on to the first email. A nice collection here. A lot of uh, Euro games. The Ultimate Railroads, Everdell, Wingspan, Brass. I'd say that all, all the hits are there. He has uh, quality over quantity, I think, for sure. I would even say I see treasures there. Dominion is there, so you're already yep, loving it, right? That's the only shelf I'm looking at. Is there a game that you would suggest here? Yes, Quacks of Quedlinburg. Yeah, I can see that. Which one would you suggest? Lost Ruins of Arnak, actually. Hmm. Because I see Dominion there, which is a deck builder. And there is Everdale, or Replacement. It would fit here really, really nicely. Wait, but does it fit? There's no room. There is. You take Parks out and move them lower. Oh, so Parks is gone, huh? To a different shelf. To a different shelf. In a different room? In a different house? In a different country? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, nice. What's up with that shelf to the left on top? It feels like it's empty, but then I'm trying to look more closely and there's something in there, right? Tiago, what is it? Why aren't there more games in there that we can clearly see? Well, now there will be Quacks and, and uh, Lost Ruins of, of Arnak, so... Okay. Charlie, he likes the uh, fantasy world, I, th I think, right? So there's a lot of Arkham Horror... It's interesting how at first I look at everything around and then just go to the shelf. I'm like, look at those interesting posters there. Are there magazines actually there? Uh, guitars. Uh, guitars, yeah. Okay, now the shelf. <laughs> what would I add to this shelf? That's a tricky one now. My suggestion actually is a bigger one. And I was thinking about Mansions of Madness because he likes big boxes, obviously. He likes the fantasy theme. Also, he wrote to us, love being the villain, love deck building, and love painting minis. Oh, so painting minis. So minis like are there. Mm -hmm. And there's actually these cards that make you insane. <laughs> yeah. And if you go insane, then you have a secret objective, maybe burning down the house, but you don't tell it to anybody. So you feel insane. You feel willingness there. Oh, they, he has night cage. Oh, man. Okay, this one, I have to move this up to can we be friends? He has night cage. And nobody I know. Shut up. Not you, Charlie. You, Yads. Nobody I know has this game here in our part of the world. So I really, really want to play it because it's good. Can we be friends? Mikhail sent us a shelf as well. You know, I look at all these tidy little shelves and I'm thinking, can this be me at some point in life? No. I can pull out any of them and I want to play. All of these games I feel like I, I'm ready to play right now. And look at them, they're all localized. Most of them are localized. That's amazing. So many good games. I find that Ark Noah could fit here. He has Terraforming Mars. He loves animals. Wingspan, right? And there's others. <laughs> it's, it's on the heavier side and he clearly has no problem with heavier Euros. Or Euros in general, since pretty much so almost everything is Euro. Uh, except Clank and, and uh, Dawn of the Dead. That winter. That's the game. I know names of games. He has my wife's favorite board game this year and maybe climbing to all-time top, which is uh, Living Forest. It's right between Quox and uh, Camelap. Which tier would you put it? There's uh, definitely treasure there. Yeah, totally. Agree. I would love to have this collection as well. Wait, wait, wait. Which tier is it for you? It's also treasure. Okay. I want this, but it's more of the treasure tier. Because I know what's coming up. I already <laughs> spoiled some pictures okay. and I mean... Cool. You'll see me. Frederick. Frederick sent us this picture. Oh wow, now this one's nice. Wow, this one's... Mm, mm, mm. And so I'm where are your eyes already <laughs> like pointing? I'm looking at games. I'm, I'm drooling and looking at games. Okay. It's fantastic. I'm gonna say it's fantastic. Borderline, I want this to be my show. First of all, one game you want to steal from here. <laughs> You're, you, you know, do we know where you're visiting? Do we know where he's from? Yeah, you're visiting Frederick. Okay, hi Frederick. Frederick, could you make me some tea? I'll take a look at your board game collection. And he comes back, and I'm like, I've noticed uh, you don't have Thunderstone Quest anymore. You had in your picture. And Frederick goes, That is weird. I did have it. I'm like, Oh well, forget the tea. I have to go now. That's how but it works. That would be Thunderstone, works. Thunderstone Quest. Last week you were at my place, and I swear I had Spirit Island. Anyway, uh, let's I continue with the video, okay? But yeah, I mean, it's an amazing collection. A lot of games that I own myself and love and would like to own, 
Did I mention Thunderstone Quest? Too bad Frederick doesn't have it anymore. It, what to add to this collection? What do you think about Wonderland's War? <laughs> There's no space There's no for, space for Wonderland's, Wonderland's War. War. Uh, Let's go with Hadrian's Wall. I mean, it takes less of a space than one. He can War. fit it right above the parks. <laughs> See, there's the parks and Keyforge. Yeah. Oh man, Keyforge. Good choices all around. Watergate. Mm, such. Okay, we gotta stop looking at this collection. Otherwise, something else is gonna go missing. We would suggest Hadrian's Wall for you. Yeah. It's a game you have space for. Marcus and his brother's collection. Oh boy. Wow. Oh boy. Is this from a board game store? This feels like cheating. He's also one of those mad lads that bought the Cthulhu yeah. huge statue that you have. Just a mad lad. <laughs> I hope he has played it at least once. I haven't yet. Can you see all the RPGs in his shelf and the classic games? It's amazing. So can we even suggest something? I don't know. So look, he has a ton of RPGs. Right? So how about Alice is Missing? That's a nice and one. And that is a really nice nice game room to, to close the doors, to dim the lights, and to play that with the soundtrack. For those who don't know, Alice is Missing is this thematic game and silent role-playing yep. game. Where you sit in the same room, put on a soundtrack, and you text each other. That's the only way you communicate. And you play these kids from this town where Alice is missing. And it's a very unique role-play. But it could complement this collection for sure. I mean, this is a wish that's mine, right? Yeah, this definitely is a wish that was mine. I'm still, while you were talking, I'm still looking at the games. Just like, look at that. Okay, now I'm going to ask you. So you're visiting, and then he goes to make you tea. Both of them go make you tea. I've been looking for a while at uh, Too Many Bones. Oh. It's quite an, like an it expensive is. one and big one, and it's not that easy to get, I think. Love to try it out and play it. Meet me at your place after we drink tea. Really good job, Marcus. Yeah. Really good job. Well, Fanny. Okay. There's Uno there, so you already love it, Yeah, right? it's already it's into fantastic. Ever. It's right in front, uh, so but, hard to miss. But jokes aside, there is a good party game. Good yeah, that's like a whole separate party, party game, game shell. Different. Mars is there. Ares Expedition Park. Everywhere we go, there's parks. Just tell the people that you regret rating parks so high. <laughs> I think it's time to come out. Uh, go ahead. Um, I rate them fantastic. Then I gave that game away because it wasn't mine. And I haven't thought about it ever mm -hmm. since. Shame. If I need, would need to rate it now, I would rate it lower. I thought I'm gonna remember it. I thought I'm gonna, you know, love it forever. But. Not really. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to play it anymore, really. They have Wonderland's War there. They have Already. my father's work, which just, just, just came out. It's just like super fresh. On the Lego ship alone, I wish that was Yes, I totally get on that. So here's the thing, we need to suggest something. <laughs> These shelves are too cool to suggest anything. They don't have one which we're gonna review sometime soon, which is Dead Reckoning. I mean, basically you have your own pirate ship, or, or you can be not a pirate, but you can be a pirate. And you're building a crew, it's a deck builder, and there's a board, and it's really nice. And just based on the pirate Lego ship, fits right there. Greg's shelf here looks fantastic. Wow. I really like the looks of it. I ultimately think he's maybe like a designer or, a, you know, person who really likes visual stuff. Uh, like uh, interior designer. Because it looks good. The colors look so damn good. I'm gonna nominate this as the, the best looking arrangement shelf. Just look at Ark Nova, Sleeping Gods, Codenames, do it right next to each other. They all look so good. We need to pay Greg to fix our shelves as well. So he has mind management, canvas, a lot of good looking games. It's a nice collection. This is a fantastic collection. I mean, I wish it was mine. And Maybe it's because the visual looks as well, but the games as well. Oh, I like it. You look at this really nicely arranged shelf and you'll go like, oh, those games look way cooler this way. I want to play any of them because they come from this really nice shelf. We have to suggest something that uh, hopefully could fit in there and not ruin the layout. Yeah, so he, he plays, plays with his wife, yeah. uh, two players. I, Wavelength right there in your background. Yeah, yeah. it would fit True. in that psychedelic uh, lower part of the left shelf And it's pretty Nice at two as well. It is a party game in general a fun one at that But it's also fun with two if you want something that would kind of introduce some discussions with your wife for example about 
how green or red are apples yeah. or something like that. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we couldn't get to all of your games, so we will probably make another video like yep. this. So many good shelves. And thank you all for sending us in. It's always better to have more than not enough. And you guys came through for us amazingly. Uh, also a way to talk with us and get recommendations or uh, just, you know, have discussions with us is joining us on Patreon, helping us out make these videos. And uh, we are pretty active there as well. Yeah. Janus is co like talking with you guys there. A way to communicate more often, better, cooler, nicer, and all those good words. Yeah, continue. Please do continue awesome. with the synonyms. Bestester, fans, we still have time. sister. Great. Okay, we'll get to the rest of the synonyms in the next video as well. Cause...